What's up guys? Uh, got a 2016 Bad Boy ZT Elite. It's got the 747cc Kohler motor in it. Um, I bought this brand new, like I said it's a 2016, and I've got around 300 hours on it. So uh, I don't know what everybody has on their mower as far as hours. 300 might be a lot. It might not be very much for 2016. I don't know. I do know that the 300 hours that's on this thing are some hard-fought hours. So I absolutely beat the hell out of this thing. So anyway, I was looking at the manual the other day, and it said the first oil change needs to be done in eight hours. And I've never done an oil change on this thing, so I think it's about time we do an oil change on this sucker. Uh, 300 hours into it so anyway I've never had any issues with this thing it starts right up it's never smoked never had nothing wrong with it uh, it absolutely has not been moved uh, all winter other than just rolling it down the carport to right here so the oil should all be in the very bottom of it so I'm gonna drain the oil out uh, put a new filter on it I've got some oil that we're gonna put in it we're gonna crank her up and see what happens I don't even know how much oil this thing's got in it. Actually, it may be bone dry. Oh, she ain't dripping out very good. That's not good. I don't know if y'all can see. I got black gloves on, but that is just absolutely burnt black. And I know about burnt. I lived with my ex-wife for about 20 years and ate her cooking. So when I tell you it's burnt, I know burnt. Uh, it's definitely, I mean, I don't know. Wish y'all could see that. I can't move the camera, but it is just barely trickling out. So probably don't even have any oil in it at all. So the oil filter is over here. We'll see if I can kind of share that. And I believe I can because it looks like this is just going to run down. They've got a little hoe cut out right there, but there's no way that it's going to not drip and get everywhere. So let's see if we can share this. Okay. Well, and it's all going on the ground, so that's good. Well, here's the original oil filter. So it has never been taken off except just now. I got a brand new one right here to replace it with. So there literally wasn't hardly any oil in there, so it's pretty much already quit dripping out. <laughs> I bet this thing didn't even have a quart of oil in it. So I got the color oil filter, and then here's the oil I got. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. The Kohler. Oh, what does that say? Oh, that says Kubota. Beautiful. I probably got the wrong crap. God dang it. Oh, well, you know what? At this point, it doesn't matter. So the dipstick ain't even showing anything, but it could have all already drained off, so... I don't see any metal shavings are in this. It's not shiny or <clears throat> anything like that. It actually looks pretty good other than just being black burnt. So not too bad disappointed with that, but heck that's the cleanest spot on this mower now. Maybe I need to dump a little all over it. Guys, whoever designed this oil filter to leak all over this needs a good ass whooping so if you know that feller's address go ahead and send it to me uh i'll have a little talk with him see if we can't get something resolved for the next year models for you because that's just play them plumb damn dumb right there now this is good i like this how they've got that hose right there coming down it's got this little cap right here so that cap screws onto the end and blocks that line and then you take that off and it just leaks out right there so Yeah, I mean, there's no metal shavings. That's just crazy. That looks good. Well, she's still dripping, just barely, so we're going to go ahead and let it keep dripping. <laughs> it is still dripping. That's like freaking sludge in there, man. It's crazy. It's so thick. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to see if I can catch a little bit of it. 
See if I kind of filter it out. About done. As y'all can see, it's super, super black, but I mean, there's no metal shavings in it at all, so I'm pretty impressed with that. These freaking colors are tanks. All right, let's cap this baby off. Put some new oil in it and crank her up. And there's the oil. I mean, it is just black burnt. It is so thick, but she's been running like a champ, so let's get some new goo in her, get her cranked up, see what she thinks about it. And like I said, I don't know if that's the right stuff, but that's what they gave me, so we're just going to go with it at this point. It really isn't going to matter. And he gave me two, so I'm gonna put two in it. Might only be one and a half, or maybe a little more than two, I don't know. All right, the ultimate test, boys. Let's see if she cranks. We're gonna have to choke her down. First time she's been started, the battery may be freaking dead. Oh, what's going on here? Son of a gun. I tell you what, man, these freaking Kohlers, they are tanks. Bad Boy did the right thing by going with them, that is for sure. I know some of them's got Kawasaki's in them now. Uh, I don't know anything about those, so don't ask. But, my goodness, 300 hours, six years, rode hard, put away wet every time, and that's the very first oil change, so... Anyway, guys, that is a true testament to that freaking motor. And I will run that thing like a scalded dog this summer and probably put another 300 hours on it before I change it again. But, uh, yeah, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, so if y'all are taking advice from me on what to do with your motor, you probably shouldn't. Uh, if anybody ever tells you that Will Vick's the smartest person they ever met in their life, you better run like hell because that son of a bitch is absolutely batshit crazy. So uh, don't take my advice. Don't do what I do. But anyway... How freaking awesome is that? I'm pretty stoked. So, all right, guys, that was it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but had to work in the garden today, so that's why I'm looking like Farmer Brown here. Had to get our garden done. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.